What's up, YouTube? How are you doing? Sean Adir, Techno Dad here, and I've got a really quick video for you guys today. And, you know, I sometimes speculate on a few things, and there are times that I am wrong, and this is definitely one of those times. So this is uh, not a victory lap video, but this is a, uh, hey, I got it wrong. Got it wrong. What are we talking about? We are talking about HDMI 2.1 ports on the Vizio OLED. And now you guys know this is supposed to be like a gaming OLED and that's what it's being marketed as. So what is the situation? What is the confusion? What is going on? Okay, so let's start off with the confusion. Now, um, a lot of places online and even on YouTube show that the Vizio OLED, it's the H1 OLED, it has... HDMI 2.1 ports, and they are labeled 4K 120 hertz. If you look on the back of the TV, HDMI 1 is the ARC eARC port. HDMI 2 and HDMI 3 are the ports labeled 4K 120 hertz. Now, these are the three HDMI ports on the back of the TV. There's one on the side, and it's HDMI number 4, and it's not labeled anything. So, yeah, whatever. Okay, so with that, a lot of people on YouTube are like, okay, well, it has two 4K 120 ports. So it's got two HDMI 2.1 ports. And if you go to Flat Panels HD, it has like a write-up on the same TV and it says it has two ports. However, if you go over to Best Buy and look at the frequently asked questions or the question and answer, whatever section for the TV, there will be two ports supporting HDMI 2.1 at full bandwidth, 48 gigabits per second, with support for 2160, 120. There will be a third port supporting HDMI 2.1 eARC, only intended for connecting to your sound system. Well, to add to some more confusion, if you go to review.com, you will see that it says it's got four HDMI 2.1 ports, one being the eARC port. So imagine that. Now I put a video up saying like Vizio made a mistake. They need to make sure that they have the HDMI 2.1 port also as the eARC port. So one of those two ports should have been the eARC port. And then the other one should have been either HDMI 2 or 3 or whatever, um, if they were just keeping the two. But I was wrong. I was wrong. And all four are HDMI 2.1. So here's what I learned on the call with Vizio. And it was it was like a bunch of influencers that have channels that are like way bigger than mine. And they had asked if anybody had any questions. And I was just like, yes, I have a question. Now there's confusion about how many ports on the TV, on the OLED specifically, are HDMI 2.1. And he said that all four ports are HDMI 2.1. He went on to say that ports two and three are full bandwidth, 48 gigabits per second, so they can support 4K 120 hertz. So that's HDMI 2 and 3 on the back of the TV. And he went on to say that HDMI 1, which is also on the back of the TV, and then HDMI 4 on the side of the TV are HDMI 2.1 ports that are capped at 40 gigabits per second. So why is this important? And this is brand new news. This is like, not a lot of people know about this. I'm not sure why there's so much confusion, but this is why I was confused. I, I straight, straight up thought that there was only two HDMI 2.1 ports. I thought it was HDMI 2 and 3. Uh, turns out all of them are, but 1 and 4, they are capped at 40 gigabits per second. Well, if you guys know anything about LG's OLEDs, 2019 had all four ports HDMI 2.1 at full bandwidth, 48 gigabits per second. They have now downgraded from that to 40 gigabits per second in the 2020, you know, C10, uh, whatever, you know, blank letter 10, it's the 2020 model. They are all four ports and they are all capped at 40 gigabits per second. So we now have, with this new information, found out that the Vizio OLED has two HDMI ports that are capped at 40 gigabits per second and two that are not. In fact, some might even say that this is an advantage that Vizio has in their OLED over the 2020 LG OLED, as you know, you've got two ports that are you know uncapped. We got full 48 gigabit per second bandwidth. Now, I was making the uh, suggestion to the product manager that I was on the phone with or the Zoom call is to make sure in the next iteration of this TV that they either make all four ports full bandwidth or, you know, if they add a third 
full bandwidth port, make sure that the ARC slash eARC port is full bandwidth because at some point in like a year, year and a half, we're going to have AV receivers that will support everything. Once they get all that weird HDMI 2.1 chipset mismatch, whatever they're calling it, um, people will buy like the Yamaha and plug all three things into it. The PS5, the Xbox Series X, the, um, what do you call it? The RTX 3000 video card. Plug that all into the Yamaha and then one cable goes to the TV, to the ARC port. We'll have full bandwidth, 4K 120 hertz, and you can get audio from the TV out to the AVR. Now, when I brought up this situation, he was actually surprised and he said that that was a great observation. So, you know, I know there's a lot of people on YouTube that like they say that they don't deal with the companies and they just they buy the TVs themselves. So they're impartial and stuff like that. And, you know, they don't want to be talking to these companies. And here is a perfect example of why communicating with these companies is great. I just made a suggestion that showed them something that they didn't think about. And if they change what they're doing because of my suggestion, in turn, I'm helping them make a better product for all of us. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that is really cool. So think about that. You know, next time you're like, oh, well, you didn't buy the TV, so this is not a good review. And it's easily, I, I don't really care. I don't really care. I will be impartial. It doesn't matter to me. And in fact, they want me to make an honest review, and that's all I ever do. So it's it's a really cool thing when you can actually have an impact on, you know, products that these big companies are making for everybody. I think that's really cool. So bottom line is, I was wrong, okay? I was wrong. It does have four HDMI 2.1 ports. And right now, since the Denon and Marantz AV receivers are capped at 40 gigabits per second, since the PlayStation 5 seems to be capped at 32 gigabits per second, now I haven't done this yet, but once the OLED shows up, I will be able to test this out. But in theory, you should be able to plug in the PS5 to the Denon or Marantz AV receiver and then plug that into the Vizio OLED's eARC port and get the same throughput and get the audio from the TV to the AVR. So definitely something I want to test out. Uh, if any of you out there have the Vizio OLED, a Denon or Marantz AV receiver and a PS5, let me know. Let me know if it works. Let me know if you can get the 32 gigabit uh, bandwidth uh, signal 4K 120 from the PlayStation through the Denon Marantz to the Vizio OLED ARC port. And of course, get the audio from the TV to the AVR. Let me know. Let me know. I'm sure there's somebody out there that's got that set up. And uh, yeah, I am. This is one of those times where I love to be wrong. All right, that's enough. I've taken up too much of your time. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.